Hey guys, it is Greg again. I wanted to uh, go over some, you know, just overall uh, market and everything that's going on in the crypto market. And um, just after everything is complete now, it came off the bottom of that last uh, move down on Bitcoin when it went down to 25,000. And there's some good reaction of uh, coins off the bottom. Um, two examples were Cadena and Soul Phantasma that came off the bottom and it looked pretty good. But now that time has gone on, I'm starting to get a little bit more data to show you that uh, these, in my opinion, there are three wave moves up. So these coins are being dragged up with the markets to uh, swing back down again, in my opinion. And uh, Phantom is, is a good example of a nice reaction off the bottom. And what it's doing is, is it made an ABC move, it was back up and now Phantom more than likely stuck in some sort of uh, x wave move which would be all this or maybe some b wave and then it's going to swing back up or something like that to complete this this wave on phantom to swing back down okay now whether it breaks that low is open for debate but i'm my suspicion would be it's coming down to uh go test that low again and uh going over another coins cadena is another example i was looking at it and it looked like it was kind of promising that it was going to make a nice uh, five wave impulse out of there. It doesn't look like it. That it just actually just made a three wave move up. So what Cadena, what Cadena actually did, it had a lot of buying pressure down there, which was good for this coin. I, I like this coin. Don't get me wrong. I don't think there's anything you know uh, negative about Cadena coin. You just want to be careful now in the markets that we're in because we're still in a bear cycle. There's no confirmation of an uptrend yet. But this is not a local bottom for Cadena, in my opinion. It did a three-way move up. So if you take a look at the, let's just go out to the four-hour chart on Cadena. And you can take a look at this coin right now. And you can see on the RSI, that's a clear three-way move. Three-way move up on the RSI. So if you take a long-term look at Cadena, if that's a three-way move up, so it's a three-way move. So it's going to make another three-way move. So Cadena, more than likely, in my opinion, is making a three-wave. It'll be an X-wave up for this Y-wave and make another X-wave. Now, not to say if you bought the dip on this, you know, and you're writing this up, th those areas, in my opinion, not financial advice, would be a good area to exit because on a three-way move up, it's going to swing back down to test those lows and maybe even go lower depending on how aggressive it's going to get in the Bitcoin market. So just going over it, over everything, uh, general uh, positions on Bitcoin is that it's the same thing too with Bitcoin guys. So Bitcoin is, if you can see from here to here, you can see a clear three-way move. So it's the same thing, a three-way move of probably ABC and then it's stuck in some sort of X wave like that and maybe a swing back up like this. So right now, traders are confused that are trying to figure out, you know, what's going on. It's it's another move, whether this is an X wave or a B wave, just dragging out, chop, chop, chop. And then it might make a move up again and then to swing back down, in my opinion. Or we just don't know yet. I mean, it, it, it could uh, play a trick on us and then Bitcoin could make another, you know, move like that. Just don't know yet, guys. So that's just my take on the market and what's going on. And um looking like with with this uh three-way move to the upside and it's just dragging up some of the alts with it right now for all the rest of the market to be pulled back up like this and then the drag back be dragged back down so all right guys i know there's some people saying for a bottom um it was a good call on a local bottom on a local bottom not the bottom bottom for bitcoin and in the previous video I just made prior, I showed you guys why now I'm very sure, not 100% because you never can be with trading or assets like Bitcoin and, and the other altcoins or Ethereum, even in the uh, other traditional financial markets, you cannot always be 100%, but there's more than likely the higher probability is pointing more towards downside, okay? So plan your trading strategies accordingly. Not financial advice. Thanks for watching. Peace, guys.